Mazda. Hey, -o. so today we're gonna be working on my Mazda, trying to fix the uh, exhaust leak that I got. Um, you guys probably saw a video of me trying to think of how I was about to go ahead and do this entire like install and, and all that other fun stuff of this new pipe. But basically, background on it, if you don't know, uh, my flex pipe is busted on my car. This is the third time it's busted. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with this solid piece of pipe. Hopefully it works out with no problems. Um, but to do that, I'm gonna have to remove the header probably inside of the car. And then after that, probably going to have to jimmy it out and start welding this baby together. Let's see where we get to go with today. So what I started to do here is I grabbed the WD-40 and I sprayed my bolts up because the exhaust bolts on this thing are quite rusty. Um, but my header's loose now. I went ahead and disconnected the uh, upper O2 sensor and then the lower O2 sensor, which is here. Uh, this one is already free. And then I gotta chop this zip tie that I got holding this one in. And this one's just gonna go to the bottom out there. The only thing that's holding this thing in now are gonna be two bolts underneath the car that connect to the exhaust. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that now. Sorry for the hair, but we'll see you in a minute. Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, so today we're gonna continue the Mazda uh, video series about fixing the exhaust. I actually got the exhaust welded up. We're gonna go take a look at it in a minute. Um, I wasn't able to take a video of myself welding the exhaust because I was at a shop doing it. Um, so I wasn't really thinking that it would be okay to videotape while, like during business hours. Um, I have videotaped in the shop before, but not while there's like 30 or 40 people running around doing things. So I kind of left that just to, for me to do. Um, but I got some other things in the back of the Mazda right here. Got a new uh, exhaust gasket because I'm not trying to use the old one. Uh, and a new set of studs that come out of the engine. Uh, I had to get these six right here and then one little smaller one uh, just because there's seven on here. The old ones all look like that. Just super nasty. And uh, I wasn't trying to use them anymore. All my neighbors probably think I'm hella fucking weird when I sit here and videotape myself doing things. Alright, so here's the exhaust. Basically, this was an entire straight... Uh, unit before there was no flange here. Um, I welded that flange there actually. Not the best welds, this is like, uh, this is actually the first time I used a MIG uh, gas, you know, a regular MIG unit uh, that has the gas with it. And I usually use that thing, that's a flux core, so. This definitely turned out way better than uh, I could have expected. Obviously like, yeah, my welds are kind of big, but honestly I can't complain. It was easy. I had all my flanges welded on. All real nice. And I'm gonna go ahead today and drop this end um, into the car. And then we're gonna line this up from underneath as well. I don't have the other side. So the rest of the exhaust is in the car right now. And I don't have a flange welded up to the other end of the exhaust. I'm gonna actually drive the car with just this setup here. So it's gonna be pretty loud. Um, but it's it was loud before if you guys remember this section right here of my flux pipe which is now uh, welded in a new piece but this section of my flux pipe before was broken off anyways so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, just put this all together in the car drive it back to the shop or I might just weld it here with the flux core I don't know um, we'll see when we get to it and what I'm feeling up to at, basically at the time now outside by the car what we got to do here first is get this last Let's get this last uh, stud out. I think that, oh, and there's one down there too. We gotta get those two out by unscrewing them from the ends here, and then we gotta start feeding our new ones in. I gotta even see if the new ones work. Um, and then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna clean this side of the engine up a bit because it's pretty nasty looking, low key. Uh, and then take it from there pretty much. Before we go ahead and do this removal, Let's see if these even fit. I hope they do. Yeah, that's going in. That's going in pretty well. There's no force behind it. 
I'm sure all of these need to be cleaned out. There's one. There's the other. There it is. The right tools are always the way to go. See, that's the end to it there. And that's what I use to take it out. It's nice. Brushes on brushes on brushes. Brushes. Ooh, it's fine in my face. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all of the studs back in the engine, and then I'm gonna go ahead and place the gasket on there. And uh, right as I get the manifold on the car again, I'm gonna go ahead and grab you guys, so I'll see you once I get to that point. All right, so while you're gonna go ahead and put your studs in, uh, if you don't have that torque on like the old ones do, this is how you're gonna go ahead and do it. You're gonna thread one nut all the way down, pretty close to the end, maybe not all the way. You're going to follow up by another one right here. Tighten those two up. Those won't move too bad. And take a third one and screw it on just like that. Like so. Thread lock. Thread that in, and go ahead and start tightening it up. It worked. I hope you enjoy watching all my funny faces when you edit this. Because there's been a lot of them. You're wearing my socks. Those are my socks. What are you talking about? These are mine. What? Nothing. Can you say something? Not to you. Sock thief. Can you see me? No, I'm trying to. Oh, I can see you. But make sure the camera can see you. Oh, yeah. There you go. 